Hi guys, Poseidon God of Water 20 here. And welcome to my 350th video. A video which I simply just call by its number 350. So, let's get this on the road. Show on the road, yeah? Because it's time for the 350th video to officially begin. So, now it's time to get started with 350. My channel's big 350. And there's no better way to celebrate then with a bit of live action and animation so let's kick off shall we I believe we shall first of all I want you to take a look at this Nolan Smith August 2468 Oh my god! I'm 40 today, this only gives me 11 months left, but I plan to get replenished, better go and get some breakfast, that was a good breakfast. Mum. Happy 40th. Happy birthday, Grandma. Thank you. My darlings. Mum. Your life bar. It's turned brown. I want to be around to see my grandchildren grow up. I need to start on the road to the replenishment bank. Happy 40th, Jessica. Thank you, Lee. Ow, that's Mummy and Daddy's equal miracle baby girl. Chloe and the Bromlin, welcome to the world. Mummy and Daddy love you so much. Precious little princess. How precious. My granddaughter is so cute. I must be around to see my grandchildren grow up. Her name is Chloe. What a perfect name for my granddaughter. Now I must get my life replenished. December 2468. Christmas is finally here. It's only once a year. Yes, but this may be the last Christmas I ever see, unless I can get my life replenished. Which I will. I forbid my life bar to be completely drained. January 2469. I must get to the replenishment bank fast. Wait. I still have six months to get there. Must get there on time. Oh shit. My life bar has gone down to only a quarter full. I'd better slow down. This is no good. This is no good. I need to get there before it's too late. July 2469 Hello, Jessica. I was wondering if I was ever going to see anyone here. I'd like a life replenishment, please. Reason? I want to be around to see my grandchildren grow up. Please place your hand on the counter, face down. There you go. You are fully replenished and restored to your beautiful youthful appearance. Thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy seeing your grandchildren grow me up. And have a good 40 more years. August 2469 It's the morning of my 41st birthday. I've lived past 40 years and I'm the first person ever to succeed where everyone else who lived to 40 failed. That was a good cartoon, wasn't it, guys? That's the first episode in the series of In the Mind of James Barrett. Okay, um.
Well, this one shot looks a bit boring, doesn't it? Let's liven it up with some visual or some special effects. That's much better. Now I'm feeling all bubbly inside. I can feel them rising up inside me. Now it's time for a live action segment next. And where better to kick things off with that than a very special Lord Vedamore. Now, just take into account I don't normally do these if it's not in my show. So this is a very special 350th video treat. You want the truth? You can't handle the truth. You shall not provoke me. Oh, you say. Hello to my little friend. Okay, that was fogging fantastic, wasn't it, guys? It's now time for the second episode of In the Mind of James Barrett, and this one I called Eternal Sunshine of the Teenage Mind. It's a, the title is a reference to the 2004 film. Eternal Sunshine of a Spotless Mind. The poster for which you can see on the screen right now. Enjoy the episode. Jennifer. Yes, Mum. What are your plans for today? I'm off out with Laura. Are you? Yes, Mum, she'll be here in a minute. Okay, Jenny, are you ready to go? As ready as I'm ever going to be, Laura. Where are you two going? It's all right, Mum. We're only going to the beach. Okay, be careful. We will, Debbie. Nothing can dampen my spirit, Laura. I know, honey. You're the happiest and most upbeat of all the teens in the neighborhood. Bye, Mum. I'll be extra careful. Love you. Bye, darling. Have fun. I love you too. Here we are at the beach, Jenny. 
I love coming to the beach, Laura. It's great. Me too, darling. Let's grab a seat. The breeze is immaculate. Fancy a bite to eat. No thanks, just had breakfast. Okay, darling. You feel free to grab a bite if you want. Don't let me stop you. I think I will. Quite satisfactory. I need a drink. Brilliant. Cherry juice. Just what I needed. Time we got you home, Jenny. It's getting dark. Here you are, Jenny. You're home. Jennifer Amber Sanders. It's 9.30 at night. Why are you this late coming home? Mum, I know I'm late home. You are very late home, young lady. I guess you'll have to ground me. Get in, right now. You are grounded for three weeks. I deserve to be grounded. That was a good episode, wasn't it, guys? Um, now it's time for an, a new kind of animation. The, a Poseidon God of Water 20 animation. Full length. So you won't miss any of it. It's uh, 44 minutes long, by the way. Hope you don't mind that. But, here we go. Enjoy. Hi, James Barrett here, born in 1988, 45 years old and the patriarch of the Barrett family. Hello, Millie Barrett here, born in 1991, 42 years old and the matriarch of the Barrett family. Hey, Romana Barrett here, born in 2009, 24 years old, a university student and the eldest child of the Barrett family. Hi folks, Roscoe Barrett here, born in 2012, 21 years old. Also a university student and the middle child of the Barrett family. Yo, Lily Barrett here, born in 2017, 16 years old and the youngest child of the Barrett family. Hi peeps, Darren Stratton here, born in 1989, 44 years old and the head of the Stratton household. Hi there, Sarah Stratton here, born in 1987, 46 years old and the second in command of the Stratton household. Hi there, Roscoe Stratton here, born in 2011, 22 years old and the son of the Stratton family. Well hello, Lizzie Stratton here, born in 2014, 19 years old and the daughter of the Stratton family. Hey, Chris Pescott here, born in 1992, 41 years old and me like a very mushy the sound of this animation. Hey there guys, Gloria Pescott here, born in 1994, 39 years old and the very loving wife of Chris. Me likey very much the sound of this animation too. Hello folkies, Wendy Pescott here, born in 2019, 14 years old and a very well behaved girl. Wendy Moira Pescott, do you want to be grounded? No. Well then, stop telling Phipps you naughty girl. Calm down, Gloria. Boy am I glad to get out of that boring place they call a school. This is the best idea I've ever had. Bunk. Well, well, well. If it isn't Wendy Beskitt, up to no good again, are you? No of course not. Really? Because I could have sworn I heard you saying something you shouldn't be saying. Something very naughty. Something about bunking off school. Bunking off school? Me? I would never do that. What are you doing now then? It looks to me like you're playing truant from school. Naughty, I shall have to tell your mum and dad about this. But, I'll get grounded if you tell them. You would jolly well deserve it. Naughty. Please don't grass me up to my parents, Lily. I don't have any choice in the matter, Wendy. You're naughty. Chris. Gloria. Lily, what can we do for you, darling? It might interest you to know that your daughter is bunking off school again. I've just caught her at the beach. That girl is so for it now. She promised us she wouldn't bunk off again. And now we find out that she lied to us about it. That naughty girl is so grounded. How dare she? 
I'll leave you two alone. Hi, Mum and Dad. Don't you hi Mum and Dad as you naughty girl. You are in very big trouble. Why? What did I do? You know perfectly well what you did. You bunked off school again. Lily's just come and told us. Why would she do that? She had a right to. You promised us you wouldn't bunk off, and today you broke that promise and have therefore violated a trust. You are grounded for eight weeks. Gosh. I hope that if I ever have kids, they don't see by one concern to be naughty like that. Hi Lily, darling. Hey mum. Alright missy. What's bothering you? I'm not gonna lie to you mum. I caught Wendy Beskett bunking off school today. That's very naughty of her. Do Chris and Gloria know? Of course they do. I went and told them as soon as I caught her at it. Good girl, well done. Did anyone use to bunk off when you were younger? Now that you come to mention it. Yes, your father did. Did you though? What a perfect day this is, eh, Millie? Yes, darling, but if we get caught we're in trouble. James Charles Barrett. Did you have to give me the full name treatment? Actually, yes I did. Ever since you've bunked off school, I've been getting bullied more than ever. I'm so sorry, bruv. Has Sarah noticed I'm not there? I expect to see you both in school tomorrow. Especially you, Jim. I'll get a pounding if you don't. I wonder what that was all about. Millie Tabitha Strabbles. What the hell did you think you were doing? I was just hanging out with. And as for you, James Charles Barrett. You left your best friend to get bullied. More to the point he's my boyfriend. I will not have him being treated like that. Sarah. Is there a rest stop between here and the end of the lecture? Millie Tabitha Strabbles. You do not speak to me like that. How dare you? What are you gonna do? Put a nappy on me? I'd like to see that. Millie, do you even realize how funny you sounded? I just might do that. I will also have to smack your bottom for your naughtiness. Whatever. You do not talk to me like that either. How dare you? You are so naughty. Uh huh. You're not too big to go up my bum. Don't you mean she's not too big to go over your knee? And there you have it. Your father and I did used to bunk off. Mum, I'm ashamed of you. How could you and Dad do that to my poor godfather? That's good, Millie. Push. You're doing great, honey. Come on, you can do it. Excellent. The baby's godfather is here. Who's an equal miracle? Daddy's equal miracle baby girl. She is so beautiful. My goddaughter is so beautiful. I am honored to be her godfather. Congratulations you two. You have a very beautiful baby girl. After all that, I need to relax. Now to catch some Z's. Lily darling, are you? Oh, bless her, that's so sweet. Hey, what? Quiet. Lily's fast asleep. Oh God bless this girl. She's asleep. Oh how precious. Our little baby is asleep. She is 16 though, mum. How long have you all been watching me sleep? About 50 feet and 9 inches. Oh dad. You and your jokes. You crack me up. That's funny. You don't look cracked up to me. You look all in one piece. What an afternoon this has been. Speaking of afternoons the joke goes like this. There were two chaps and one says to the other I know a man with a wooden leg named Smith. And the other chap says what's the name of his other leg? That was a fine joke. Nothing beats the jokes from Mary Poppings. I remember when I was only five. What a boring day. Lily darling, are you okay? No, Romana, I'm bored. Well, why aren't you doing anything? Can't think of anything to do. I would take you out, but I'm actually supposed to be doing my homework. Romana and Brit, you naughty girl. Romana. Anne. Barat. What in blazes do you think you're doing? Just talking to Lily. You're supposed to be doing your homework, aren't you? Yes, if I had any at all. Romana. Anne. Barat. 
you do not sit here and lie to me about not having any homework. How dare you, more to the point, you are grounded for two weeks. Don't shit yourself, little Miss Mother. That does it. You are now grounded for fifteen weeks. How dare you speak to me like that. Get up those stairs and do your homework right now, and when you're done change into your pajamas because you're going to bed. You naughty girl. So, how is Mummy's little angel today? Bored. Then why don't you do something? I don't know what to do. I think I can fix that problem. What are we doing, Mummy? Come with me, darling, and we'll find you something to do. Is that how it really happened? Yes, Romana. That's exactly how it happened. I'm not Professor Slughorn, I can't manipulate my memories. You had to reference off Harry Potter. Dad, last time I checked it was okay to make those kind of references. Okay, darling little sister. Don't get upset. It feels like I'm being told off. Lily, you're 16 now, you should know better than to think that. Blimey. Here we are in school. You two must stay in class today. No bunking off. I have no plans for that. My best friend needs me. I can't believe I have to spend yet another day in this boring place. Millie Tabitha Strabbles, I know you're thinking about bunking off again. Don't you dare. Me? Bunk off? I would never do that. Millie Tabitha Strabbles, how dare you think you can get away with lying to me like that? You're grounded, you naughty girl. Nah, 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 nah. Nah. And that's another thing. That attitude is far too immature for a 13-year-old. What are you gonna do? Put me in nappies? You either grow up, or I'll permit your sister to put you in nappies. So which is it going to be? Are you going to grow up, or do I need to start putting nappies on you? I'll leave it up to you. I choose neither of them. I don't need to grow up, and I'm not wearing nappies. I could start putting them on you though, Sarah. Millie Tabitha Strabbles. You do not insult my girlfriend and expect to get away with it. Maybe I'll just shut my big mouth. Hello, Millie darling. Hello Sarah, I have not seen you in ages. I know, that's why I came round. I thought my baby sister could use some company. And you were right to think that. I've been so lonesome. Millie Tabitha Barrett. Why didn't you call me? I'd gladly have obliged to come over. I know that. Look who it is. If it isn't the mole who crawled out from the hole. Lily, my gorgeous darling niece. How lovely to see you. I know, it has been so long. How are you? I'm very well thank you, Aunt Sarah. And yourself? I am really well thanks. Glad to hear it. I'm glad to hear that you're well too. Sweetheart, I love you, Aunt Sara. I love you too, darling. Off you go now, Pickle. Leave your Aunt Sarah and I alone to talk, and you'll see her later. Is she looking forward to coming to stay then? She is very excited about it. She can't contain herself. We are looking forward to having her. Darren especially can't wait. That's understandable. She is his goddaughter after all. And she's a lovely girl. She's also my precious little baby. Ladies, your attention please. I have something to tell you. What is it, darling? It's okay, darling. Tell us. I've just taken the pregnancy test and it turned out positive. What are you trying to tell us, darling? What do you think she's trying to tell us? I'm pregnant. I'm going to have a baby of my very own. Congratulations, darling. This is the best news I've ever heard. You're going to be a mother. Oh darling, you will make a great mother to your child. What are you hoping for? A son or a daughter? A son would be great. Then, a daughter would be equally as great. I'd be happy with either a little boy or a little girl of my own. That's great to hear, darling. I can't wait to be a grandmother. I'm only three weeks along, and I've already picked out names. Please darling, share. Lizzie for a girl, and Oliver for a boy. Those sound like great names, darling. I know your son or daughter will love you. I'll be seventeen by the time my baby arrives. It doesn't matter, 
Darling, we know you'll be a good mother. Come on, Lily, you can do it. Push. You can do this, darling. Push now. Come on, darling. You can do this. Daddy's here, Ickle Lily. Ow, that's Mummy's beautiful Ickle baby girl. Lizzie Lily Barrett, welcome to the world. Mummy loves you so much. Congratulations, Lily. She's beautiful. Who's a beautiful Ickle baby girl? We'd better change your nappy, baby. Let's get you changed. There you go, all better. I must get home before I get grounded. Where is she? She should have been home five hours ago. Lizzie Lily Barrett. What time do you call this? I call it 11.30 on Monday night. 11.30. Exactly. I told you to be home by 6.30 and you deliberately disobeyed me. Explain yourself, right now. I was at the Bolarama with my friends. For eight hours? You should have called me to let me know where you were. I was worried sick about you. I know I should have called you, Mum. I'm very sorry. And I'm sorry for disobeying you too. That doesn't excuse you from punishment, young lady. You deliberately disobeyed my orders to be home at 6.30 and come home at 11.30 with a poor excuse which is such an obvious fib. You know very well that the bull Aram closes its doors at 7 o'clock every night so be honest. Where were you? At the bull Arama. That's it. You are grounded until I think you've learnt your lesson. No arguments. Now, let's go and put your nappy on and then get you to bed. Naughty girl. Ow, my little girl is so cute. Especially when she's asleep. Hey Lily. Wendy, how are you? I'm good thanks, and yourself? I'm very busy with my little Lizzie these days but I'm fine all the same thank you. How is little Lizzie? She's just fine thanks for asking. Where is she? She's in bed at the moment having her afternoon nap. Hi sweetie, did you have a nice nap? Yes mommy. Come here you. Look at you Lizzie. You are so adorable. Thank, weirdy. It's Wendy. Wendy, I'm going to remind you that Lizzie is only six months old. I know that. I'm 15 years old. Get lost. Lizzie, how many times has mummy told you not to talk to people like that? You're naughty. Say sorry to Wendy please. Dory, Wendy. Best be off now. Bye. Lizzie, you cheeky little monkey. Mummy should tickle you. Dory, mummy. Perfect weather for a barbecue. I agree darling. Ditto to that. This is a lovely day. The sunny weather is great. I love this weather. I'm more than inclined to agree with you. Let's hope it doesn't get ruined. Do I smell barbecue? The smell is unmistakable. I love barbecue. As do I. About me. You can stay out here as long as you keep away from the barbecue. It's dangerous. You'll go back inside if you go near it. Lily, is this your daughter? Yes, Lizzie, this is my daughter. And coincidentally, her name is Lizzie too. Might I say she's so adorable. Thank you. How old is she? Six months. Well, I must say she's an adorable little girl. That she is a no mistake. And a very naughty one at that. Lizzie, get down from there, right now. Mummy told you to stay away from the barbecue, and you went near it. You're a very naughty girl. Wait a minute, Lily. Before you take her back inside, I implore you to give her a second chance. Mummy is giving you another chance to be good. You will go back inside if you're naughty this time. Yes, Mummy. Good girl. That's our six-month-old granddaughter for you. I need to go and change her nappy. I'll be back in a few. Lily is such a good mother to that little girl. Millie, darling, that is an understatement. Lily is a fantastic mother to little Lizzie. I cannot believe another year has passed us by. I know, 2034, I'm 40 now. I'm 45. I'm 47. 
I'm 25. Once again, I'm 15. I'm 22. I'm 23. I'm 20. I'm 42. I'm 43. And I'm 46. And just to remind you that I'm 70. 15 years from now, I'll be 61. I'll be 55. I'll be 60. I'll be 62. I'll be 40. I'll be 32. I'll be 30. I'll be 37. I'll be 38. I'll be 35. I'll be 57. I'll be 68. And my Lizzie will be 15. I cannot believe it's 2053 already. I'm 19 years old and wondering where the last 19 years have gone. Just be happy you're here, darling. Mum, I count my blessings every day. Good. I had you when I was 17, and now you're 19. And I'm 36. I'm now 34. Wendy, we didn't hear you come in. That's nothing though. I'm 61. I'm 65. I'm 62. I'm 44. Blimey. That makes me 64. I'm 66. This makes me 41. Yep, and it makes me 42. It also makes me 39. And it makes me 59. That's everything. Now off I go. You are so cute, darling. Mummy loves you with all her heart. Love, Mummy. That's Mummy's ickle miracle baby girl. You're so precious, baby. Mummy's so proud of you. And so you should be, darling cousin. You have a very beautiful little girl, cousin Lizzie. Glad to see you. I'm glad to see you both too. Thought I'd come and pay my aunt and uncle's side of the family a visit. It's just my little miracle of a daughter and I here at the moment. Everyone else is at work. Bless that, you are the perfect mother and daughter and I'm so proud of you both. How very kind of you to say so. Lily, you're my first cousin, and little Lizzie B here is my second cousin. I love you both so much. And I will always carry that pride with me. <laughs> Time to change my little bambino's nappy. Do you want me to change her? I don't mind. Let's get you changed now, pickle. There, all changed. Thank you, cousin. Anytime. Best be off now, as I have work. Where's the time gone? 2042 already. This makes me 54 years old. Time certainly has gone by quickly, hasn't it? 2042. This makes me 51. Another 8 years gone in a flash. This makes me 30. 8 years gone already? Bosh. This makes me 33. I cannot believe how quickly the last 8 years have passed us by. This makes me 25. 8 years gone already? This makes me eight. I know, darling. It feels like only yesterday I held you in my arms and nursed you. You too, right? It feels like only yesterday. You kept me in nappies. Only at night. And you're still in nappies because you still need them on. If I have to, I will put them on you during the day as well. I'd like to see you do that. In that case, you'd better lay down and I'll put a nappy on you now. Once your nappy is on, it stays on until you need changing, and you will stay in nappies all day. There you go. Now that you've got your nappy on you can relax. I'll be back to change your nappy when you need it. Come on darling. Lay down on the floor for me. Time to change your nappy, good girl. You're all changed now. I cannot Adam and Eve it. Eight years gone already? This makes me 53. Blime me. I know what you mean, darling. This makes me 55. Tell me about it. This makes me 31. Blimey. 
This makes me 28. Eight years gone in a flash. This makes me 50. I know, this makes me 48. And it makes me 23. Very worrying. There he is, my darling precious son. Here we are in 2038, and I'm now 50 years old. Look at us here in 2038. I'm now 47 years old. I'm now 29. I'm now 26. I'm now 21. Me now 4. Me now 2. Look at them. My daughters are so sweet. Blimey. 2038 already? That makes me 49. It makes me 51. It makes me 27. And it makes me 24. Wow. Four years gone already. That makes me 46. It makes me 44. And it makes me 19. That's good girls. Play nice. Shelby, you're so tiny. That because me too. But you're really tiny. Lizzie Lily Barrett. Stop that at once. You are teasing your sister, and that is very naughty. But Nummy, I'm only saying how tiny she is. No. You were making fun of your poor little sister, and for that you are one very naughty little girl. You are as small as a toy soldier. Now look what you've done. You've upset her. You really are a very naughty girl. I am very cross with you. When we get home we'll change your nappies, and then you, little missy are going to bed. You have been very naughty today. Mama you are such a bastard. Lizzie Lily Barrett. Watch your language. You do not swear around your sister. As a matter of fact you shouldn't swear at all. You naughty girl. All things considered I'm really lucky not to be caught doing this. Millie Tabitha Strabbles. Why aren't you in school? Well. Answer my question. Why aren't you in school? I was buying you some nappies. I thought it was high time to start putting them on you, as you look as though you need to take a shit. How dare you talk to me like that? You're the one who needs to start having nappies on, not I. Your attitude is far too immature for a 16-year-old. I'm taking you home this minute, and when we get there we are going to change your bum. Change my bum? You don't mean... Yes. When we get home, I am going to clean you up, and then I am going to put one of those nappies on you. So. Let's get your naughty bottom home and put a nappy on you. Shall we? Your nappy is almost changed. All done. Why is Lizzie still in nappies, Mum? Because she still needs to have them on, darling. If you tease her about it, I'll put a nappy on you too, Missy. Don't you dare, blimey. 2043 already? That makes me 26 years old. It makes me 7. It makes me 9. And still nappies, baby. Shelby, do you want a nappy on? No. Then don't start teasing your sister, otherwise it will be a nappy on. And you will be in nappies all day. Naughty girl. 2043 already. Blimey, that makes me 55 years old. I know. That makes me 52. Scary, isn't it? I just realized that it makes me 31. Blimey. And it makes me 34. Somebody kill me. Remina, you know that's an impossibility, because we're immortal. Does that mean Lizzie and me can't die either? You're still growing up at the moment. Your immortality will start to kick in as you enter your late teens or early 20s. Or at any time. Assuming of course that our Lizzie is out of nappies by then. Where's the time gone? It is now 2043, and I'm now 54 years old. I'm now 56. I'm now 32. And I'm now 29. We don't appear to have aged a single day. Of course not, son. We don't grow old. And we can't get sick or die. We are immortal. 2043 already. That makes me 51 years old. I know, it makes me 49. 
and it makes me 24. Blimey. Haven't the last 10 years gone by in a flash? It feels like. I don't feel so good, Mum, Dad. What's happening to me? I feel really. What's going on? I thought I was. You're immortal now, darling. You no longer have to worry about growing old, getting sick or tying. Oh yeah. I have become immortal at last. You're still nappies. You're such a baby. And you're naughty. Taking the piss out of me. Actually girls, you are both naughty. Very naughty indeed. Shelby, you're very naughty for teasing your sister about her situation and I having a nappy on in a few minutes. And Lizzie, you're very naughty to let such a foul word slip past your lips. You do not use that kind of language. Once your nappy has been changed you can go straight to your room because you're grounded. How dare you? That nappy stays on until you need changing, you hear? Yes, mommy. Good. Because if you take it off you will not only get a smacked bum, you will also be grounded. Do I make myself clear? Clear as a bell. Man, I don't feel so good. I feel sick. Must I die now? I'm only 18. What's going on? This is odd. I thought I was. I honestly have no idea what could happen to me. Unless... Okay, that's all the confirmation I need. I've become immortal. Blimey. Has it really been that long? Is it really 2053? I guess so. I guess I'm now 65 years old. 2053 already? Where's the time gone? I'm now 62 years old. My goodness. 2053. Already. I'm now 44 years old. Bosh. I know what you mean, big sister. I am now 41 years old. I cannot believe how fast time passes us by. 2053. Gosh. I'm now 36 years old. I know, Mum. I'm now 19 years old. And I'm now 17 years old. Shelby, I love you but do you really think that dress is appropriate? Yeah. Why, do you not think so? Actually, Shelby I'm gonna side with Mum on this one. If you go out in that dress. You'll attract perverts and fall victim to rape. It's not appropriate for you to wear. But. No buts young lady. Go and change right now, or you're grounded, you hear? How about this? That's worse than before. You're grounded young lady. No going out for you for a very long time. You must have better dress sense than that. I'm not changing again. Forget it. Mum has already grounded you for disobeying her like a naughty girl. If you don't go and change again right now, I'll put a nappy on you. I'd rather wear a nappy than go and change again. In that case we'd better put a nappy on you straight away. Lizzie, put a nappy on your naughty sister now. Yes mum. Come on you, it's time to put your nappy on. There. Your nappy is on now and you will remain in nappies for the rest of the day. Blimey. 2053 already? That makes me 64 years old. It makes me 66 years old. It makes me 42 years old. And it makes me 39 years old. Here we are in 2053, and I'm now 61 years old. Blimey. I'm now 59 years old. I'm now 34 years old. And I'm now 14 years old. Wow. What a fucking great show. Shall be a very naughty girl. Swearing again? Mum's gonna love this. Lizzie, 
Please don't you me out. I'm afraid I don't have a choice in the matter. You know very well we don't use bad language in this house. What's going on girls? Shelby has been using naughty words again. Shelby Rose Barrett. How dare you think it's appropriate to use foul language. You are a very naughty girl. Nah, nah nah nah, nah. That is a very immature attitude for a 17 year old. You either grow up, or it'll be nappies for you, is that so? Stop that. Or I shall put a nappy on you myself. In fact, come with me, and I will put you a nappy on. Now. Mum's the one who needs a nappy on, as she looks as though she needs to take a shit, that does it. Shelby Rose Barrett. You are grounded for 50 months. 50 months. I can do that standing on my head. All right. 65 months. Ooh, I'm scared. Right. 65 years. Okay, I apologize for behaving like this. It won't happen again. You're forgiven, darling. After all, it is much better that we are a happy family, rather than a quarrelsome one. Ditto to that. I love you both so much. I wouldn't want any other family. You are so sweet. Darling, we are so honored to have you in our family. She'll be very sweet. What is going on? Please tell me because I don't know. Don't look so upset, darling. If you got sick, died and came back to life, it just means you've become immortal. I know it must come as a complete shock to you, darling. But you'll get used to it in due time. Plus, you're free from the worry about getting killed. What about growing old? You don't need to worry about that. You became immortal at 17, so you will retain those looks forever. I couldn't help but notice that surprised look, darling. Mum, I have a good reason to be surprised. I've just found out I'm immortal. That's a good enough reason, isn't it? Wow. 500 years have gone by already. It is now 2553, and I am now 565 years old. 2553 already? Time has gone by. I'm now 562 years old. I can't believe I'm now 544 years old. Wow. 2553. That makes me 541 years old. That makes me 536 years old. That makes me 519 years old. It would make me 517 years old. Blimey. 500 years gone already? That makes me 564 years old. It makes me 566 years old. It makes me 542 years old. It would make me 539 years old. Gosh, 500 years have passed already. That makes me 561 years old. It makes me 549 years old. It makes me 534 years old. And it makes me 514 years old. We now flash back to 2015. 558 years earlier, James and Millie are in the kitchen. Can you believe it, darling? Here we are. Finally married and already have two kids. Our daughter Emina. And our son Roscoe. I know, mad isn't it? We now return to the present day. 2553, and Lizzie Stratton is about to find something out. Lizzie, I've found out what's wrong with you. Please, Nurse Emma. Put me out of my misery. What's wrong with me? It happens that you're about to be a mother. Really? Me? A mother? That's awesome. I'm pregnant, thanks, Nurse Emma. You're welcome. You are you also four months along, which means if you want to, you can find out the baby's sex. I'd love to. Very well then. It's a girl. You have a daughter on the way. Lizzie Stratton is thrilled to learn she has a daughter on the way. In all the 500 or so years that I've been doing this I've never seen a happier mother-to-be. Hope you don't mind my asking but... How old are you? Of course not. I was born 7th February 1978, and it is now 2,553, so that makes me 575 years old. Blimey. 2,553 already. 
If I was born in 1959 that would make me 594 years old. And if I was born in 1984, that would make me 569 years old. I was born in 1989, so I'm 564 years old. 2553, holy bazookas. I was born in 1995, so that makes me 558 years old. I was born in 1996, so that makes me 557 years old. I was born in 2004, so that makes me 549 years old. And I was born in 1970, so that makes me 583. We now flash back to 2048, 505 years earlier, and Lillian and Lizzie are talking. So darling, how was school today? Boring as shit. Lizzie Lily Barrett. Do I need to ground you? No fucking way. You watch your language. Don't shit yourself. One more time, and you're grounded young lady. Don't get pissy. That does it. Get inside the house and go straight to your room, right now. You're grounded. How dare you continue to swear after being warned. You are a very naughty girl. Wanka. That naughty girl is so for it now. How dare she call me a wanker. We now return to the present. 25, 53, and the Glenwood Trio are at the beach. Here we are guys, the Glenwood Trio. Together again. Just like old times. It feels like only yesterday we hung out all the time. Darn. Yes, my chocolate treacle. It might interest you to know that our daughter found out she's having a daughter of her own. Brilliant. We have a granddaughter on the way. Congratulations, man. Same to you too, Sarah. Don't we all look cozy here? Not really because we're just standing on the beach. You silly sausage. I thought it was naughty to call people names. You numpty. Naughty. Now now, chocolate treacle. Say, aren't we crowding the place? My thoughts exactly. What a crowd. I know. Shit. Wendy, you're 534 years old now. I thought you had grown out of that naughty behavior. Naughty girl, Wendy. Why aren't we dead? Because we are immortal. And that means we cannot die. That's getting better. Just as now dies. Jim? Bruv. Are you alright? This thing makes no sense at all. It can't be real. I must be. James, it isn't actually 2553. It's still only 2033. You've been asleep for several hours. We're all worried about you, darling brother-in-law. Come on dad. It's time to move out of this plane and re-enter reality. But it seems so real. Of course it does. It's been on your subconscious all this time. Now it's time to end it. We love you dad please wake up. Come on James, we can't bear to see you like this anymore. It's breaking our hearts. Come on mate. Please come back to us James. Come on James. It's time. James, my poor darling son. Come with me, it's time to wake up. Come on Jamie's poppings. Wake her me up uni. Jumbo Baggins, it's time to wake up. Come on bruv, you've been unconscious long enough now. Open your eyes. Wow. That was a long sleep, visitors. Jim, bruv. Welcome back. Cheers bruv. Where have I been? You've been off in your dream world in which over 500 years had gone by in several time jumps. Are you serious? Yes, bruv. I'm afraid so. Best look neutral for my wife and kids. I'll call them in. James, my gorgeous darling husband. I'm glad you're awake. We were so worried about you. We thought you were never going to wake up. I had complete faith that you would wake up, Dad, while still worried about you. What a family I've got. Solid support all the way. We're your family, Dad. And we love you, oh so much. We missed you while you were unconscious. 
You're our father, as we hate to see you like this. It's so nice to be home. And we're glad to have you back, sweetie cream pie. Really glad in fact, Dad. It has not been the same without you. It has been very boring, upsetting and unfun around here without you, Dad. I cried myself to sleep every night because of how much I missed you. Lily sweetheart. Come to Daddy. Have a seat. You're so sweet to tell me this just now, darling. You're my daughter. I love you very much and no matter what happens I will always be very proud of you. You make me proud every day. Oh, Dad, you make me feel very special. I just want to cry. You're very special, darling. And that does it for this full-length animation. Thank you for watching. We are very appreciative of you all. Our loyal viewers. We love you all so much. And we hope to see you again very soon. Until next time, it's Toodle Pip. Be safe. And be well. Never forget that we love you. Cheers for your time. We fully appreciate it. Until next time, it's goodbye from us. Take care now. And that's it for a Poseidon God of Water 20 animation. I hope you've enjoyed it. And you'll see a sequel at some time soon. Until then, Toodle Pip! That was a good animation, wasn't it, guys? I am working on a sequel to it, set mainly 10 years after that, that picks up briefly and exactly where that one leaves off. Um, we are now nearly an hour into this extravaganza. And so it's now, there's no better time to present this next video. Um, it, of course, it's one of mine again, yes. And this time we're going to go back in time for an old and I mean an old animation not so old did I say animation I mean an old live clip but not so old because it's one taken from the third season of my show enjoy next please Hello. Good morning. Is it the sign of God of Water 20? Yes, it is. It is, sir. Well, you can call me the ultimate barrister. Tugster. Yeah, that's fine, too. Um, I understand you have a problem with your computer. Yeah, yeah, it's had a bug on it for several weeks and I, I can't get rid of it. Very bugging in the Um, have a look. Hmm. Hmm. Very persistent. Has your computer caught a cold in any way? Yeah. They're very human like. I see. But it doesn't have an immune system. No. I think so. I could have set it up with immunity to anything. One moment. Chris! Yes? Can you come down here please? Of course I can. <laughs> um, James has got this human-like computer that's come down for a very nasty cold and doesn't have an immune system. Would you like to give some tips? I reckon you should completely reboot the whole computer and all and take out all the settings and reboot it. I can do that. What says you? I'd like you to do that. Okay, okay. With my memory stick because the CD tray is not working. Take some of this with my neurocapacitors. All done.
Cured CD direct draw is working. Thank you very much. Anytime. The ultimate. The air and stuff. Anytime. I'm your daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay guys, I'm afraid that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And there'll be more regular videos coming up next. Including more animations and more live stuff, hopefully. Um, and the next big video will be my 400th. That's in 50 videos time. Let's see if I can do something much more extravagant for that. Until then, peace out.